Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a LA-125 here that uh, smokes and stops smoking. It starts pretty good when it's cold, when it gets hot, it's got a heart starting. Anyway, uh, it's like, seems to be symptoms of a head gasket blown, so I'll show you what it does. later. This spark plug looks like it's been changed lately, but uh, you can tell it's filling full of oil again. It takes a 3 8 to the rocket. Little tap, pops right out. Bit of rag there. All right, I'll remove this. There's a screw right there that needs to come out. These are three eighths. And there's two in the back. Take the dipstick out here for a minute and take cover off. Put the dipstick back in. Take the exhaust pipe off here, quarter inch uh, Allen head. Wrench. Yeah, look, good shake. Then we back off these valves here. Uh, there's a set screw inside here. Some take an, 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 an Allen head uh, wrench. This one takes like a Torx. I think it's a T20. I'm just gonna back that off. And this is a 5 8 wrench. Back off the set screw, then you can turn these. And it's going to be steel for exhaust side and aluminum for the intake. All right, there's, I think there's eight bolts. Uh, hold the head here. It's three eighths. And the intake. Now, I think there's a rubber gasket in here. Yeah, so. If that looks in good shape, I'm going to reuse it, and it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to tap this loose a little bit. Pop right out. They leak. They leak through this gallery, oil gallery, right through the head right here. So I'm going to scrape the head gasket off. There's two pins here. Don't lose them. A little razor blade there works really good. Alright, let's scrape this head off here. I'm gonna clean that cylinder a little bit. Push it all the way out till it's flush. Just gonna clean the cylinder a little bit. Make 
sure there's no debris in there. Looks good. Just gonna put this on there real flush here and screw some degreaser. A little compressed air here. You can look up your model number on top of your uh, valve cover and look on the Amazon and buy one uh, a head gasket here. But uh, I've got uh, mine at the John Deere dealership. Uh, this is a 21 horse. Uh, part number is uh, that right there. All right, these guys pin back in. All right, put it back in. Only goes one way. I put these guide pins here and here. There you go. Yes. So the torque sequence here is we start at the bottom bolt here. One, two, on the left side, three top four and five in the corner over here on on the left side and six and then seven on the right hand side below and one here in the eighth i'm gonna do this in three steps but the torque the final step will be 220 inch pounds or or uh 18 uh, foot pounds so i'm just gonna go in uh one two Okay, I got to set a 200 inch pounds. Two. Push rods here. See, so aluminum goes below. Now you're gonna have to look in there and put it right on the lifter, right down there. Make sure it's on the lifter. All right, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the top one is. So I'm gonna put my finger on it. Twist this this way. Put my finger on it. Tighten it up. So the bottom one. Okay, she's in. The rocker arm on it. Hold my finger. Tight, tight this nut. Just a little loose. Now you should turn the motor. You should be able to see them open and close. Yep, that one's good. And that one good. So you know they're on the uh, on the lifters inside. So. Okay, set the valves here. The uh, intake should be three to five thou, or right in the middle, 0 0.1 of a millimeter. The exhaust should be 0 0.005, five thou to seven. Smack down the middle, 0 0.15 of a millimeter. So there's your settings. Okay, so I'm gonna use a uh, six thou. See, there's a little too much drag there. Break this off a little bit. Tighten her down until you feel a little bit of drag. Hold my wrench and tighten this little screw inside. Right, that's pretty good. And then check it again. See, it's a little bit loose, but you can give it a little. Yeah, she's dragging really good there. That that's pretty good. All right, the uh, intake. I'm gonna set the fourth out. There's too much. I can't pull it out. That's too tight. So back it off. So you can just go in and out. 
And then you start putting it in. And then you could probably right, a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna rotate the motor a few times and double check again. Okay, again. Oh, that's perfect. It's a little loose. Crank it a little bit in a little bit. Just to hear more. That's good. All right, I'm gonna put the valve cover on. I'm just gonna clean this up a bit there. I'm just gonna blow a little bit of compressed air on here to take the crap out of here. Look inside here, make sure there's nothing in there. It looks good. You can use a uh, brake cleaner or just paint thinner. Automotive paint thinner. I'm gonna clean this up a bit. So it's nice and clean. This is good. I'm just gonna put a little dab of a gasket maker here. Just a little bit there. Stick this on. Make sure it's uh, right side up here. The exhaust pipe here, we use the same gas to rip this loose a little bit so it moves. All right, put the muffler, turn it in. I'm just gonna snug them up a little tiny bit. That's good. Just tighten in the, uh, the muffler. Two grooves. It's a groove right here. Only goes one way. Check the fins, make sure they're not nice and clean. There you go there. <clears throat> make sure you slide your uh, guard here, up here, the proper way. Remember that little bolt there that goes right in here? And the filter, Get the cover. I'm gonna go for a spin here. Five minutes later.
price, don't burn no oil no more. Uh, works awesome. You know, for 20 bucks for a head gasket, uh, pretty cheap. And probably take two and a half hours. And uh, doesn't take too long. But anyway, if you like this video, press thumbs up below. You could subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.